Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. So we just got here to our Airbnb here in Nashville, Tennessee, and so far it's been an interesting trip. The first thing that I noticed is that when we got out of the airport, as we were trying to get onto the highway, apparently it was blocked by an officer. And then we later found out that Kamala Harris, the vice president of the US, was visiting Tennessee. So they blocked off the entire highway. After sitting in the car for 45 minutes, we ended up getting to our Airbnb. Our Airbnb is in a quaint neighborhood and I thought it was really beautiful because this is the first time I've ever seen a swing on a porch. I've seen them in movies but never like on an actual house before and so that's one of the cool things that this place has. If you go into the living room you'll see a piano with all of these modern artworks and into the living room. It's just this really beautiful fireplace. I also love the fact that it has this really old vibe but has a modern take on it with all of the art that the hosts ended up using to decorate this entire place. Right now I'm actually upstairs in the attic which is turned into a second bedroom and I think everyone else is just chilling before we head out to go eat dinner at Martin's Barbecue, which is apparently one of the most popular barbecue spots here in Nashville. And then I think we're going to head downtown to check out the bars and some live music and of course eat more food. <laughs> it's the update for now. And then hopefully I can check back in later today. Good morning everyone, today is the second day here in Nashville, Tennessee. Last night we went to go get some dinner. We went to Martin's Barbecue and then went straight to Broadway to check out all the bars. There is a large bar scene here in Nashville, Tennessee. We went to 1230 which is owned by Justin Timberlake and then we also went to a few other bars. A lot of these bars actually have different floors where you can listen to different types of music. We're back here on Broadway to get some Hattie B's, which is a very famous fried chicken spot.
Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery and Whiskey Tasting. We left downtown Nashville after trying Hattie B's famous chicken fried sandwich and we were able to try the most spiciest level. It was pretty dang spicy. Going to say I would recommend definitely going there. I would get the medium or the hot if you like spice. Anything hotter than that it might be a little bit more painful. We walked a little bit around downtown before coming to Greenbrier's Whiskey Tasting. And I have about 15 minutes before we go in to do the tasting and um, try their Whiskey Flight. Apparently this is one of their local distilleries. I think I have to go back in because the Whiskey Tasting is going to start very soon.